In Creative Suite 6, Design and Web Premium, as well as in the Creative Cloud, there's a ton of new innovations going on, especially around web standards. It's pretty exciting stuff. I'd actually like to show you some of this, starting in Dreamweaver CS6. Notice how I have this new document dialog box open. Under Page from Sample, I can take a look in here. We've updated the jQuery mobile framework with the latest jQuery mobile framework, allowing me to make mobile-specific content. Not only that, I can turn around and make an app out of it using PhoneGap as well. But I'm just going to go ahead and click Create. And here's my file, and I'll just quickly save it right in here to this folder, call it index. So that's the first thing I need to do. Here's all the files I didn't have to create. It's basically jQuery mobile, including you know a couple images. And uh, really, picking apart those CSS files and customizing it can get pretty tricky. Because if we take a look, you might want to customize this look here. So instead of worrying about customizing all that CSS, what you can do is you can go ahead and use a different theme. So if I go to Window, down to jQuery Mobile swatches. And because I have my cursor basically within that uh, jQuery Mobile CSS, I can pick one of these other themes. So I'll just kind of click through. You can see we go darker to the blue to the lighter, clear up to the yellow if you dare. Uh, so nonetheless, I can easily uh, sort of uh, pick a new theme or even get more themes as well. And that will actually open up uh, Theme Builder. We'll jump online, allowing you to customize this even further, download it, and then go from there. It's pretty exciting. You know, from there, if you want to turn this into an app, this is a great innovation. We've expanded on PhoneGap. We have PhoneGap Build, allowing you to make apps for multiple mobile platforms that way. Uh, really exciting, and I'm just grazing the surface here. But I want to move on to some other innovations that are happening uh, around the area of Flash. So uh, if you're used to using Flash, of course, you'd output a SWF content. But what's available in Flash now is this extension called the Toolkit for CreateJS. It uses this uh, CreateJS JavaScript framework and ultimately allows you to take your content and output it as um, HTML. So I can quickly come in here and maybe I want to animate this. I'll uh, just insert like a keyframe, maybe create a, a classic tween with this. You know, I'm not going to get very complex with this, but I can just create a couple tweens really fast like that, maybe move this stuff around slightly, have that move into place just like that. So I'm not making this overly complex, uh, but what I can do is I can make some uh, decent animation that looks uh, pretty exciting, I'm not getting too complex with it, uh, because I want to make sure it gets output appropriately to HTML. But all I need to do from there is I'm going to output this file to my desktop. In fact, when I hit export, it's going to create this animation in HTML. When I do that, you can see it right there. Let's just do a refresh, and you can see that move up and that slide in. Again, that's a simple example. You can get more complex with this as well by adding your own JavaScript in Flash Professional, and it will output, and you can make this interactive, move around, whatever you want to do. But notice that if I view source, you can see it right. This is my JavaScript, as well as all of the uh, uh, create JS, easel JS functions, and all that stuff in those files. So you can customize that further. Uh, but another way to go is to use what's part of the Creative Cloud. It's called Adobe Edge. So it is a new product that we're working on because if you really want to build something from the ground up, you can use Edge. So Edge allows you to create animation and inter interactivity and output it to web standards like HTML, JavaScript, you know, CSS for the animation. Uh, it's pretty powerful. And again, I'm just going to keep this simple. But right in here, again, the same sort of motion. If I wanted to move this picture, I could say, OK, you know what? I'm going to change its location as soon as I click on that. For this hero image, it gives me those keyframes. And uh, I can move in, say, about two seconds and kind of shift this picture like that. OK, and you can see we go from point A to point B. That keyframe is already added, as well as the tween. Everything looks good. And I could do this with a number of items. 
just by turning it on, if you will. And as soon as I turn it on in my properties panel, it makes those keyframes available and you can have that sort of slide as well, okay? So there's quite a bit more you can do with it. In fact, you can add interactivity and you do that using this trigger. So I can insert a trigger at that point in time and I can just add this simple stop action that looks a lot like uh, action script but this is actually JavaScript and you can write your own right in here or use any one of these pre-built JavaScript calls again I'm just keeping this simple very powerful uh, being able to use this tool to create very nice animations and interactivity beyond what you see here you can see that move so those are just some of the cool innovations that are going on when it comes to web standards and web projects. So thanks so much for watching.